What's in this glass? Looks like an average, harmless cup of decaf. Predictable, right? But what if I told you this was the key ingredient to an extraordinary beverage that could redefine your Christmas mornings? Stick around to see how we turn this average Joe into one of the Irish clauses. Let's make it, taste it, and rate it. See you in the kitchen. Hello to all of my honey hustlers. Simone Donnie's here and welcome or welcome back to the cocktail kitchen. I am so freaking excited to be filming this for you guys. This is the first episode of the 25 sets of Christmas. Yes, that is right. We have 25 of these videos coming out for you guys each day with a new released episode. So definitely stay tuned and come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and get yourself filled with some delicious Christmas style cocktails. But today we are starting in kind of easy. It's cold outside as you guys might have seen the clip earlier. It is snowing in Colorado right now, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. I can't even believe to be honest that it's Christmas snow December whatever in the first place I can't even believe it's the season um, I feel like 2023 went super fast and let me know in the comments below if you think also it went like super fast for you I'm just genuinely curious and I will obviously like and comment so let's hop right into this Irish Claws cocktail okay so for this Irish Claws you are going to need simple syrup peppermint schnapps Jameson your Baileys and your whipped cream. Now I found this video that made something similar to this. I believe it was just with like, like Jameson and peppermint schnapps. Um, if I can find the video, I will obviously leave the link below because I'm always willing to shout out where I get my inspiration from and things like that. Um, but I, I'm going to add in Baileys and some whipped cream, um, just to make it like a little bit more creamy since we are specifically dealing with coffee. It's not like your hot chocolate. It's basically a spinoff of an Irish whiskey, which is, um, you know, coffee and then Irish whiskey and, and your coffee, but we're going to make it a little bit more sweeter. Call it an Irish claws. I'm gonna stop yabbing and go get this coffee right here. <laughs> Boom, here you go. Here you have it. Here it is, delicious. There is nothing special about this coffee. It is your store brand decaf style coffee uh, because that's what we had at the house. You can use any style of coffee that you would like. I myself am not a coffee connoisseur. Just give me some nice black coffee and I'll spruce it up myself. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, for this Irish Claws, we are going to do a half an ounce of simple syrup. We are going to do three-fourths of an ounce of our peppermint schnapps. <laughs> See, this uh, doesn't get very much use out of it. But if you were here actually last year, I gave a really good flashback into my more kidless days <laughs> in Dallas, Texas, when my husband and I used to live there. And my best friend and I, Alexis, we would go out and we would go party in Dallas and take Rumplemint shots. Yeah, those nights I definitely do and don't remember and don't really want to or care to <laughs> so um and then we're going to do an ounce of our irish whiskey fresh new bottle i love that sound every time it's the best asmr <sighs> actually this is smelling really really freaking good i wish you could guys smell this right now so if you are making it with me though that is amazing. And then we are going to do one ounce of our Bailey's. Bailey's was my grandmother's drink, actually. She was a Bailey's drinker. So Bailey's holds a special place in the family clan of mine. Um, I might do a little bit more Bailey's, though. I want it just a little bit creamier. And then you're going to top it off with some whipped cream. But I'm actually... I don't know. I might do maybe another like half of an ounce of Bailey's because we really 
do like Bailey's in this family. And I like my coffee kind of creamy. Obviously, look who I married. Just kidding. <laughs> we are going to top off with a little bit of whipped cream. Or a lot of bit of whipped cream, because this is a lot of coffee. So we want to make a Santa's hat as much as we can. It's cute. Oh, it dipped over. <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time. Oh, is it going to chill a little bit? Ho, ho. Ho! <laughs> So this is our final Irish claws from around the world right here. It looks absolutely delicious. And we're gonna head over to the table where I have my two bestie taste testers and we're gonna give this a little rating for you guys. Let's do it. All right, so welcome to the little corner table. We tried to spruce it up a little bit more for you guys this time, get a little bit more gear. These are my two main taste testers, my jokesters, my goofballs, my sister Tyla, and my husband, <laughs> Ravi. If you guys have watched last season, which we did just the 12 sips of Christmas, they were in those primarily, and it was a lot of fun having the drinks to test. I will leave that linked up above. Okay. <laughs> If you guys are interested in watching that series after you watch this episode, um, and then I will link the whole 25 sip series at the end of this video. But without uh, further ado and stop rambling, oh my God, let's just get into this Irish Claws. Cheers. And then we're gonna give you guys a rating on our rating scale. Mm. On a scale of one to five, our rating goes in the toilet, which is a one, sipping alone, which is a two, hanging with the homies, which is like a three, cocktail party, which is a four, and diamond, or they, diamond is forever, which is a five. Uh, and we got diamond is forever. Where did, where did we get that from? Uh, it's the most expensive drink in the world. Okay, so it's the most expensive drink in the world, which means it's top notch, delicious goodness. Actually, uh, just because of the diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Listen it's still a heck. It's still, it's still good. Oh god. So, <laughs> and I don't even know why did we come up with that scale. Like, do you remember? Do something different. Yeah. yeah. Just be different. One to five was lame, so it was just spruce it up. Yeah, that's fair. But then everybody comes in like one to ten. So, anyways, that's our scale. <laughs> this is our first video. We'll get we'll get better and more warmed up as we go along. But all right, one, two, three. Hang on. Hang oh, love <laughs> <laughs> hang it with the homies. homies. Hey, it's a solid three. What up, homies? What, up, homies? <laughs> what did you? What do you guys ultimately think? What could be better? Who is it for? Um, how you feeling? I mean, I don't know if you can do much to make it better. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's your average Irish coffee tasting drink mm -hmm. with a little peppermint kick, which I like. Yeah, or, yeah. I, I actually really like the peppermint. So I don't think there's anything you can do to make it better. It's just, it's not like gonna, it didn't blow me away. Yeah. I mean, there's not Bailey's in a regular Irish coffee though. It's just, it's usually just whiskey. <laughs> Um, the coffee and then like at least in Ireland even like the whipped cream is not even sweetened Sweet. it's yeah. just whipped cream. Yeah, it, it doesn't put hair on your chest like a real <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's for sure <laughs> but it's still pretty good yeah yeah I wasn't sure I was uh, I wasn't sure I was gonna like the peppermint but it's actually a really nice note at the end because it's kind of the aftertaste mm -hmm. you don't really get it as you're sipping yeah um yeah, if you just want a simple coffee on a snowy day, then I'm making Irish claws. Um, I think for me, ultimately, yeah, it's it's kind of like they're saying, like it's definitely something you would drink with your homies. Like have a couple of girls come over, a couple of the guys come over, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ultimately just you know make something like for people to sip on um, downstairs while you guys kind of hang out on the couch. Um, but yeah, I, I think. It's a nice twist, I guess, if you're looking for just something a little bit more. I do, I think, just because I'm a Bailey's girl, wish I tasted the Bailey's just a hint more in there. I don't know if it's the coffee that's overpowering it or the whiskey, per se. 
Um, but I don't know, maybe just a little bit. I, I, again, I like my coffee super creamy versus like somebody who might like theirs more black. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so uh, I, I think I would add just maybe a little bit more Bailey's into that. Um, but ultimately, yeah, I think it's it's for the winter time drinkers, more on the sweeter end of things, maybe likes to screw something up but doesn't want to get too complicated with it is where I would kind of land. You could crush candy canes on it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. all over the whipped cream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Make it look a little more festive. But I think That's we're true. all on the fence with peppermint, so yeah. probably good flavor po- profile for us. Yeah. But yeah. just another recommendation. Mm-hmm. I always got to have a recommendation. I mean, I like it, you know? It's, this is what these videos are for, is just to make these drinks, taste them, give a rating and then you know make it better for you guys so ultimately thank you so much for watching this is our first episode high five guys uh, uh. we're starting out strong welcome to the 25 sips of christmas how are you guys feeling about the 25 sips i'm like six sips in so just just <laughs> roll the credits <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling really excited about this. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next 25 Sips adventure. (laughs) Bye. Thank you guys so freaking much for viewing the cocktail video just now. I really, really appreciate it. If you want more like this and you like the content that you've been seeing, don't forget to subscribe down below. Or if you want to watch the next episode, go ahead and click right over here. I will see you guys in the cocktail kitchen soon. Bye.